Well, we're at the lovely Matar Conservatory in the Tropical Pyramid, and we are standing in front of yet another corpse flower, also known as the Arum Titanum, native to Sumatra. And uh, so this one is in, they discovered it in mud, of course, and uh, so we're waiting patiently for it to bloom, which should be hopefully within a month's time. What makes this flower so special are a couple things. First of all is its size. It is one of the largest flowering uh, plants in the world, and the technical term is inflorescence, so it has one of the largest inflorescences in the world. The second thing is its smell. So when this flower opens up, the smell, they equate it to rotting flesh, corpse, that sort of thing. And in its native habitat, uh, that draws flesh-eating flies, carrion beetles to itself. And when these insects get inside the flower, the parts that shed the bottom at the bottom uh, part of the flower, the insects will get the pollen on their bodies and then they'll fly out and go to another flower because the pollen doesn't self-pollinate the flower, it has to go to another flower in order for it to set seed, which is the only way these flowers make more of themselves in nature. In their native habitat, they're not endangered, but they're on basically a threatened list because of the impact on the environment from people that live in the area, uh, changing the environment, um, either you know logging, deforestation, that sort of thing. So their numbers, while they're not dwindling, they're potentially threatened because there's only one location that, that these are native to, okay? So that's kind of what makes them a little bit special and as part of our mandate at the conservatory here, we, uh, we will house plants that are in these sorts of situations to help preserve them. As we get to this stage, we start measuring it and we, what'll happen is just as it's about to bloom, the growth will kind of slow a bit and um, the past few times though, it's ended up opening up overnight and then we're greeted to the lovely smell first thing in the morning. Uh, I think one time it did start opening up late in the day. So of course we, we let the public know when it's open and then they can go from there.